Hello, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review video for FGOBY. <laughs> So today I have three kits for you. Two are Joy Sunday and one is kind of one of those generic kits. I'm going to go ahead and start with a Joy Sunday. So I'm going to start with this one because I know you've seen it before unless you are new to my channel and seeing this for the first time. I forgot that I purchased this on my own and I also requested it in a PR package. But that's fine. I'm sure one of my sisters would absolutely love this. It is called the Rose Cottage. 14 count and it is 38 by 38 centimeters. Typical Joy Sunday package which is resealable but not watertight or airtight. Instructions on the back in case you are new to cross stitch. And let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the paper pattern. You can see the legend down here. I am seeing the highest number is 46, so there will be 46 colors in this kit. It looks like 40 of them are in full stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in half stitch, 4 in back stitch, and 3 in French knots. So a lot of different things going on here. And if you look at the paper pattern, you can see that back stitch. It's pretty highlighted. Very easy to see from the stitches behind it. Joy Sunday's paper patterns color match the image you are working on. Whereas if you get a printed kit, meaning the fabric has printing on it, the printing on the fabric will not match your paper pattern. So here is the majority of the top of it. It is just super beautiful. It is garden goals, honestly, or even just like outside of my house, but because with those two windows, it does look like a house, but even just like a garden shed would be gorgeous like this. Lots of different colors in here. So there is going to be some confetti in this pattern and there is a decent amount of backstitch so maybe don't get this one if you are afraid of backstitch or not ready to tackle it yet. Lots of half stitches though, so it's gonna go faster because it's a lot quicker to do a bunch of half stitches than a bunch of full stitches because it's literally half the work. And then here are the last two pages, pages three and four beautiful flowers, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely love them. They do not show this page separation on this pattern. Sometimes they do, but this time they do not. And sometimes they will also show you the symbols on this versus the symbols on the printed pattern meaning like on the canvas, but uh, I don't know if they do that anymore because I haven't seen that done in a while. But just all the pinks and greens really pull it in together, but you can definitely see how confetti heavy this is. And really quick before I forget, all links to all of these kits will be in the description box below as well as discount codes if I have them. And I will also link FGOBY below. I will put the prices on screen and say them out loud for you at the end of every kit showing, just so you know what you're in for. So here is the canvas. Right here, the Rose Cottage. That way you can put it back in the correct packaging, say if you had this out with a bunch of other kits. The edges of Joy Sundays are surged, and by that I mean the stitching here. It just helps prevent fraying, and it's it's really nice to have. Over here, it shows you the stitch count, 167 stitches wide by 168 stitches high. 
and look at this nice large legend. We love a large legend. It makes it so easy to see. Not loving how similar those two are in the same color. Super large. Now, looking at this compared to the paper pattern, it definitely does look way more confettied. But that's okay. Just doing a few threads at a time is gonna get you there. Don't worry. It does look like they have the back stitching printed on this canvas. I ignore that. I stitch my stitches, wash it, and then I go back and do my back stitching and my French knots. Forgot to show you these. They also have the half stitches. That's what those look like. And they tend to look like checkerboards when they're all together. Your French knots and your back stitches. So you can definitely make out where the flowers are and the house, but everything else seems to kind of melt together. But again, there's a lot of floral going on in here, so it is a little bit difficult, but it's still gonna be gorgeous. The colors here came on two cards, so I'm gonna rip those apart for you and push the staple down so I don't snag anything. Card one, we have colors one through 15. Side number two, 16 through 30. I love faded sage type greens. I mean, I just love greens, honestly. And card two, we have 31 through 45. And here's where all the pinks come in. And some more greens. And then 46 just over here on his own. All Joy Sundays come with two needles stapled to the card. The card shows you what the color should look like, the DMC code, and how much of it you will be getting. Here's all the colors together. Super pretty. I really love this kit. I cannot wait for spring so I can start one of them. And I guess it's good I bought two because if family came over and they saw this one, let me tell you, they would take it. So this kit will currently cost you $6.77. Keep in mind that they have a 12% off plus over $30 gets $3 off and that is a cyber week deal the code is cyber 12 and that code will be working for uh, I think it's two more days two more days and seven hours from the time of me recording so make sure you take advantage of that This next kit is one I've been wanting for quite some time. Uh, I've thought about it a lot, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't find it for the price I wanted or it was out of stock, but I was finally able to get this. But yeah, I, I'm really excited to finally have it. I wanted it because all of those blues in there and I love Ocean Life. I actually have um, multiple VR headsets and on every single one of my headsets I have this um, undersea, it's not like a game, it's more of like a simulation where you just relax and swim around and interact with the sea life. And there's like this constant calm swooshing in your ears. It's just a really relaxing VR experience. I've actually fallen asleep with my headset on while I was in the ocean and woke up to it. I mean, it's so soothing. And this just kind of reminds me of that, and so I, of course, had to get it. It is called Underwater World. 
It is 14 count, of course, and 40 by 49 centimeters. I am really excited to open this up and look at it. Don't forget instructions on the back, and it is resealable. First things first, paper pattern. Here's our little thumbnail in the corner. Lots of pastel-y looking colors. Again, they do try and match the image. I do think that this is a little bit lighter than it will be stitched because as you can see here, it's like really dark and here it's really pale. Oh, okay, so it's like unstapled. The first part of the legend is over here. Yep. So the highest number I'm seeing is 37. So there are going to be 37 colors in this kit. Super cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. I'm so happy to finally have this. And then right here, we got three French knots and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back stitch. And this one does show the page separation. That's what I meant when I said the other pattern did not have it. This one does. It numbers the pages for you, like right here, six. You see that big fish? Six, and there's the big fish. Ooh, this page is really pretty. So it does look like it would have some confetti. Not a whole lot, but you could definitely carry a thread between stitches like up here in the T's. You could definitely carry that, carry that. Those twos, I would probably just, not the French knots, just carry that for the full stitches. It's still gonna be a little bit tedious, but not as bad as you might think. So this canvas feels a little bit thinner than the last one. It could just be that there is less starch in it. I really honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> you do have your um, image tile, that's what I'm going to call it, of course, surged. Again, really nice, large legend. I'm loving these big legends. I've been working on a kit that has a really tiny one that's hard to see, so I've been using the paper pattern a lot. Okay, try and keep this facing up right for you. Nice and big. I love it. Love it. And then, of course, some more up here. So many symbols. I don't think I've seen this one before. Green with the dashes through it. And this one's like so pale. I hope I can see that. Right here, 176 stitches wide by 224 stitches high. And I don't know if this is all gonna fit. It's not, unless I turn it sideways. So here's the entire kit near my hands, or compared to my hands, even though my hands are kind of small. But this is still pretty big because, remember, full coverage, it's gonna take a while. So you can definitely make out the whales or orcas, I'm not really sure what they are, don't quote me. Some of the corals down here. The skies, obviously, and the mountains are up in here. Some of the other fish, it's just super cute. I love the fact that it's gonna have a ton of blues in it. Let's look at the print quality. So it's a little bit duller than other ones. This kit isn't super saturated but I don't really think that matters. I'm not having trouble telling what is what. Focus, come on. Except for right there. I don't really know what those are supposed to be. Maybe red arrows. I think they're these, 24. Yep, they're 24. All right, these colors are going to be stinking gorgeous, and it does come on two floss cards again, so let me pull those apart really quick. And I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, let me grab that. I'm sorry, floss. I didn't mean to throw you like that. 
I love these colors. So here's colors 1 through 15. Number 2 is obviously all the black we are going to use. Sixteen through thirty. Lots of beautiful blues. And notice this did not come on the floss card that shows you the color sample, the DMC code, and how much you're supposed to get. This is just a very basic floss card, so it doesn't really tell you much. I mean, it doesn't tell you anything besides the number of the thread. And then we have this half card, which is good because they're not wasting all this paper. And this one has 31 to 37, which is obviously more blues and some white. And then the needles are just flipped down there, hiding out. They do have the gold eyelets or eyes, gold eye needle, whatever you call it. all of the blues together and then the pops of the colors in the back. I love this. I love this palette so much. It's so beautiful. I don't think I have any super consistently blue kits, but one that's ocean, absolutely my cup of tea. Give it to me. I want it now. <laughs> I mean, I obviously have it now, so I'm very happy about that. All right. This kit will cost you, right now, with the 20% off, it will cost $8.24. This one is called The Underwater World. It does come in a series of other uh, pictures. So it's one listing with a bunch of different pictures, so you do have to look up this one by name. The previous one also came in a bundle. Well, not in a bundle, but it came in a listing with similar photos. So this one, this one was style B, I believe. So this last one I already opened because it is one of the generics and it was in a crinkle bag. And I just went ahead and opened that beforehand so you didn't have to hear it. So the instructions come on their own piece of paper in this kit. Generic kits come with your needle threader, a pom-pom to hold your needles so they're not just floating around, and an adjustable thimble ring. And I have not figured out how to use these, but I definitely need one because I keep putting holes in my thumb and I doubt you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, of course, when I want to show you. I, I moisturized a lot today. So let's look at this paper pattern. It does not have a large photo to show you, so I will put that on screen for you now. And this also comes in a listing with a bunch of other similar images. This one is style number three. So I don't really see any smearing on this pattern at all. It's printed very cleanly. See right there, 17 would have been the color to smear and smudge if it was going to. So I think we are in the clear. I don't see any smearing or smudging on this pattern whatsoever. And this kit is 50 by 60 centimeters. And it's looking like we get 40 colors, which is perfect. That's amazing. So she's just super adorable. I wanted this one specifically for the purple theme, but I was stuck between a few of them. So, I mean, I don't know. I think I went with her just because her eyes were more front and center. And it was more mesmerizing and eye-catching. So I just kind of went with her. <laughs> And this is not sticker paper, this is tear-proof paper, which is good, but the only downside to tear-proof paper, because I use this for my business, is the back side being 
kind of laminated like this. If you get this wet, it's going to spread far and it is going to ruin your pattern. Even sweat ruins these. My son has ruined several by falling asleep in my bed on my kits that I had out from the previous night. And he just like sweat the entire image off. Uh, don't worry though, if you reach out to customer service, they will email you a PDF of the pattern. So I did get those replaced. Thank goodness, because I actually needed one of them. I was working off of it because he spilled juice on the canvas. So not only did he ruin my paper pattern, but my son ruined my canvas. So uh, it's fine though. I, I now stitched that part, so it is taken care of. I'm just going to move this since it doesn't really have an image. Here is our canvas. Lots of confetti for sure. But that's really just going to bring out all the detail because as you saw there are a bunch of small flowers, a bunch of different light textures and shading in this image. So of course it's going to be confettied. I already knew that when I went into this. Right here we have our stitch count, 190 by 233. Lots of different red symbols here. Wish they would not do that, but they are clear enough to distinguish from one another. And lots of different blue symbols together, so definitely be careful there with those X's and then the blue dashes. And there are some bits with color blocking, especially 17 and 24. This canvas is definitely firm. You can roll it up if you would like and unroll it, roll it the other direction if you would like to soften it. I prefer my canvases to be firm, so I try not to bend them even as I work on them because I stitch in hand. But if you want to stitch on a frame, scroll, Q-snap, hoop, whatever, you will probably need to soften this to get it to sit. So these are surged. Super nice. And this is an 11 count, if I did not mention that already. Most of these generic kits will be 11 counts, but sometimes you will find 16, 18, and 14 count. I have been on the hunt for 14 counts that I'm interested in because a lot of the 14 counts or 18 counts aren't really my style. So I just check back every few days. All right, let's close her up. Put this over here. Here are our colors. So we had a lot of 939. And when you get a lot and it won't fit on the card, they just give you these hanks. And a lot of people do call them extra. Please don't get confused by that. These are not extra. You will need to use this in your kit. So we have 939, 209, this one's kind of trying to sneak away, and 208, 208, sorry, not 208. <laughs> and this one did come on floss cards. Uh, a lot lately have been coming on the floss drops. I honestly thought this would have been an image that came on the floss drops, but it's okay that it's not from that company because the printing and pattern are still amazing. So I, oops, wrong side. Colors number one through 18. And there will be lots of purples and pinks in here. That's looking more neon on my camera than it does in real life. And now colors 19 through 36. Just a little bit of brown here, some more pinks. That one's actually neon. That one, if I'm being honest, this one looks less neon on my camera than it does in person. This one looks like this one does on camera if that makes any sense to you. 
And then we just have more pinks, purpley pinks. Bubblegum pink. And right over here we have 37 through 40. Of course more pinks and purples. And here is everyone together. Lots of purples and pinks, like I said. I think it's gonna be beautiful. I sometimes do really love color-themed images. Other times, I just kind of want it to be a rainbow. But that's all right. We're allowed to want what we want. All right, so this kit, even though I don't have an image to show you, this kit costs $14.86, and on the website it is showing that that is 17% off, $14.86. So without that percentage off, it would have been $17.89. Currently, right now, on this website, if you spend more than $30, or $30 or more, you can save $3. If you spend $66, you can save $8. And if you spend $120, you can save $15. And if you spend $39, you get one free gift. And I'm seeing three coupons up on this listing as well. A 15% off, a 10% off, and a 5% off. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. All right, so you can get 15% off on an order of over $500, 10% off on an order over $300, and 5% off on an order over $150. So those are just kind of thresholds you can use. Uh, you don't have to use them, especially if you're new to cross stitch. You can definitely just browse their website. They do sell cheaper kits, super easy ones too. Uh, as you can tell, these ones don't have back stitch. So you can easily browse their website. There's hundreds and hundreds of pages of products you can find, and you can just buy one to test. And I promise you, you won't regret it, even if it takes you a year to do it. It took me three years to even work through my first ever cross stitch but once I completed it I was I was sold and now I have like over 80 kits <laughs> just outing myself over here but you know if you are also new to cross stitch it would be worth mentioning that they separate their joy Sundays so they do have a joy Sunday section you can also filter out through the sizes which count you want and the best sellings and you can also organize by category like do you like animal stuff do you like pokemon tigers landscape stuff like that you can sort through it all i want to say thank you to fgoby for sending me these kits for review they're absolutely gorgeous and i am in love with them i hope everyone watching will go give their website a look, <laughs> please. Because again, you just do what I do. Make an account, add stuff to your favorites, browse when you can, window shop, essentially, and then at midnight when you can't sleep, buy it, because <laughs> that's how I do it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment because your opinion matters here, and I would love to hear what you have to say. Give the video a like so other people can find me and enjoy my content because I know not a lot of us are out here sharing these kits. And subscribe if you haven't already and you've made it this far in the video. I love having crafty friends and I want to keep sharing all of the fun with you guys. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!